Hello everyone, and I welcome you today to uh, PTS, what is the last week of PTS up until the patch goes live. Um, today I want to show you the uh, meta CP build that I'm going to run next patch in uh, the Champion Points um, campaign. I've been playing a very, very similar build for the past three months. Um, and the only thing I changed for next patch is Briarheart. Um, it, I switched um, New Monocolite to Briarheart, is what I mean. So I can guarantee you that this build is definitely the best thing I ever played. Next patch is gonna become crazy strong. Um, why crazy strong? Oh, because the burst is just massive. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the burst clips in a few seconds as well from the tests I uh, I made. So what I run is a little bit innovative in the sense um, of what traits I run. Otherwise, it's not that interesting. It's just Balorg, Byheart, and Clever Alchemist. Uh, Clever Alchemist on back bar and uh, Byheart on front bar. And by hard obviously on your jewelry as well. All infused weapon damage and torque of tonal constancy. This well, previous patch it wasn't the best mythic you could run because Malakaf was just so much better. Next patch is gonna be the best thing you can run because of the burst from crits. And yeah, the Briarheart model um, I run is charge shock damage, and why I do that is because it's just the most damage you can get. I mean, you'd. You either choose sharpened, that is like 3k penetration, that's about like 4 to 5% uh, damage difference, damage gain. Or you go with charge shock, and if minor vulnerability procs, you do 12% more damage. I think it's obvious <laughs> what I would choose. Um, the food I run is have a food soup and salt rice with 23 points of health. Uh, the potions I'm gonna use uh, with Torque of Tonal Constancy because what you need to remember with Torque of Tonal Constancy is that you need to be under 50% Magicka at all times. So to achieve that I, I cannot run Tricet Bot so instead I run Essence of Health, Health, Regen, Stamina Regen and Lingering Effect. And that's really it. Um, you can look through my CPs as well. The CPs I run aren't very optimized, I'm gonna optimize them later. Uh, this is what I ran just for the tests. So 61 into Precise Strikes, 46 Piercing, 43 Mighty. 81 into Master of Arms, you can probably go more into a Physical Weapon Expert. None into Blast because you don't really need it. If you really struggle to heal up, go with Blast, whatever. 61 into Tumbling. 43 into Mooncalf, 5 Arcanist, 27 into Tenacity, 56 Warlord, 14 Sprinter, don't run Siphoner. <laughs> don't ask me why I run it, don't run Siphoner. Just put the points somewhere else so your sustain is gonna be better. 19 Quick Recovery, 43 Hardy, 43 Elemental Defender, 33 Fake Skin, 61 Ironclad, 70 Resistant is bad. Um, go maximum 56 Resistant if you really need it. That's it, ready. Mm, what else I could show you? Oh yeah, the race is Bosmer, Wood Elf. And yeah, now I'm gonna go and show you the clips and the bursts I can achieve with this, with this build. So what you're looking at right now is my friend Decimus uh, baying on his Stem Sorg, who he designed to have exactly 20k uh, resistances, 3k impen and minor protection on his bar. And <laughs> what I hit him with is a 15k in-cap into a 19k bow proc. Um, that's ridiculous. Well, of course, assuming concussion will proc and everything will crit. But if it does, that's the damage you're gonna pull out. Another video you see is Decimus again on a 28k resistance is um, Samsorg with 38k health, 3k impen and minor protection. So he's almost resistance capped. And what's gonna happen to him, I'm gonna smack him with a 40k, 15k in cap into 17k bow. There you go. That's the damage output you have next patch. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention is I also run Vampire. 
stage two for the damage. Um, the food is optional. You can either run Lava Food Soup or you can run RTM for the health recovery if you want to. Um, if you struggle surviving, um, you don't have to run the damage I do. You'll be fine killing people with less damage, honestly. You can push more into health region, more into sustain, more into defense if you want to. I know I'm experienced enough to survive with this kind of defense sustain. So I can just run around and incapacitate people for 15k if I want to. Oh yeah, and f just um, so I don't, so you don't think it's a clickbait title or anything. Um, the death recap you see right here, the two. One of them is on a target with uh, 20k resistances, 3k impact, minor protection. Uh, the other death recap um, with 20k cap on him. Um, that's on my friend Malcolm. Who, um, who he was on 17 resistances, just default in pen, so a non really, and no minor protection. So that's the damage you will put out if you meet a pack who doesn't really know what he's doing. So yeah, enjoy the patch, enjoy Nightblade, and see ya.